Let's make some Philippine, nope, that's a country, Never mind. Let's make some Fajilio's, no, that's probably the name of an Italian restaurant. You know what, enough trying to be cute, let's just make some Philly cheesesteaks. What is up guys, welcome back to another episode. It is your boy Gabe, and today we, we are making Philly cheesesteaks. Yes, mmm, Philly cheesesteaks. So, uh, I got my griddle nice and hot. Let's make some Philly cheesesteaks. So it sounds like we're fighting with the outside elements today. It decides to be windy and everybody decides to be traveling outside today. So, bear with me. But first, we're going to start with our onions and peppers because once we start putting everything together and once we start throwing everything on, it kind of moves kind of quickly. Uh, the Philly meat is just some shaved sirloin. And uh, so it's very thin and so it doesn't take very long to cook. So our peppers and onions take the longest. So we're gonna start with our peppers and onions. And I just have your basic white onion and green peppers. I'm just gonna hit it with a couple tablespoons of butter. Then we're gonna hit this with a little bit of central seasoning. Basically salt, pepper, and garlic. So if you don't have this, then salt, pepper, and garlic. And we're gonna give these a couple minutes to cook. Like I said, because then once we throw our Philly meat on, it's gonna kind of move kind of quickly. Now, once your peppers and onions kind of get started, you don't have to, but it's optional. You can spice it up by either adding some jalapenos or I'm gonna add some banana peppers because I like banana peppers with my Philly cheesesteaks. But I like to add them on while my peppers and onions are cooking to help cook these a little bit and it gives it a little bit more flavor. Okay, so since those are just about done, let's cook our steak. Now I got roughly about two pounds of shaved sirloin. Hit it with a lot of our essential because it is beef and we want it seasoned well. All right, get to chopping. Okay, now that everything's done, we're gonna combine everything together. Now I'm gonna section off enough for a sandwich so that I can melt some uh, provolone cheese on it. Okay, I'm gonna toast one of my buns. I got uh, some nice ciabatta rolls. Okay, take a couple slices, and I'm, I'm gonna do two slices for this, because I like it nice and cheesy. All right, so our cheese is melted. Our nice toasted ciabatta roll, that there. And there you are, bam, a Philly cheesesteak. Now, what you can do is you can add some mayo, lettuce, tomato, all that kind of stuff to it, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna try it out how it is. Look at that. All right, <clears throat> let's see if we can't try and eat this. Hold it like so. Oh, this is a mess and it's glorious. Cheers. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. That is uh that is excellent. Wow, I would uh, I would put some mayo on this. Cooking it in the um, in the banana pepper juice was a nice move on my part. Didn't mean to do that. Just kind of improvised. But um, yeah, this is uh, this is excellent. But um, wow, it's juicy. It's flavorful. It's seasoned well. The peppers and onions are cooked beautifully. The cheese melted nicely. It's a nice touch because it's got a little bit of a salty bite to it. But Man. And then the banana peppers are just kind of the, the cherry on top. But um, there you have it, guys. Philly, uh, Philly cheesesteaks on the Blackstone. If you like this video, 
hit that subscribe button down below hit that notification button next to it comment down below tell me what you think uh tell me what you want me to see uh make next and as always peace out guys